Good morning, Sinjin McNabb here at the beautiful golf course, Good Garden. I've hit my ball through the green to an, a difficult lie. We're up on the collar and most amateurs would look at this and the first thing they would gra grab out of the bag is their sandwich. Well, I want to demonstrate that there are actually two ways that you can do this. One is relatively easier than the other. So first of all, we're going to discuss your sandwich. So what would we do here to get this ball close to the green? A, we've got the ball tucked up on the collar. I've got my weight slightly forward. I've gripped down on it slightly. I've sunk my knees and I'm just going to come slightly steeper down on this with an abrupt finish. Steeper down, abrupt finish. Off it goes, and hopefully we get this one in the hole. Oh, that's the same. That's tip one. What about those of you who are saying, but I'm not a very efficient player, so I put it back in the exact same line. I go back to my rescue wood here. I want to show you that not always do you require a sandwich. So I've got my stance, the ball slightly forward, I've gripped relatively quite low down on this. In fact, my fingers are down the shaft. And I'm gonna come down slightly steeper, but what's gonna happen here is that the sole is just going to glide through the grass. It's not gonna stay back and hook up on the grass. It's just gonna move straight through it. It's gonna come out low like a putt. And it's on its way there, it's going down, it's beautiful. As you can see, two different ways of doing it. Use the easier method if you're not efficient at using sandwiches. It will help your game. Thanks very much. Sinjin McNabb from Good Carden.